Okay, alright. Still got some days for the bench, so got a little bit more. And let's check some of those work quests around here. Uh those two areas. I wanna check that one first. Um depending on how long they take, I'll check some others that aren't marked on the map, but I stumble upon. Wow, explore. Oh no. And no left to the cave. A lot of information was once contained within these simple notes, but most of it has been scratched out. Grind the cores of a hundred ember core flowers and swallow them in a single gulp. Didn't work, it just hurt my teeth. It was so sweet. Seriously, how did people in the past get the idea they could? Never mind, let's try some other way. Collect the motor shells of the claws that fall from Ictomisaurs. What are those? During their growth period, as well. Grind them into a powder and apply it to your body. If that would work, I'd be an Archon. That's just that skin, isn't it? Um, no, if it's claws. Shells of the claws. Like, there's a cap over the claw. Um, try it anyway, it didn't work as expected, powder left a weird smell that took forever to wash off. Come on, ancestors, can you come through uh, for me at least once? Immerse yourself in the people of the springs, hot springs, once every 10 nights. Do this 10 times and all your wounds shall be healed. Well, I have heard that the hot springs are uh, flagstone rich, so it could work. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, if you look closely at this woven scroll, it once belonged to the people of Springs anyway. Did I just fall for a fake head of theirs? Uh, well, at least only my wallet was hurt in the end. You had to pay for that? I thought th those were free to use. The most ancient trial, or so the legend holds. This was how Chibalan. First and greatest, learn the art of controlling flames. Oh, hang on, I'm dropping frames. Oh, hang on, what's wrong with the internet? Wow. Wow, it was lagging hard. Okay. I think the frame race frame rates are back to normal. Weird. Uh, the most ancient read ancient trial or so the legends hold. This was how Shbalank, first and greatest, learned the art of controlling flames. The sage of the stolen flame, the islands floating in the sky. Well looks like it's that's the only thing they left to try. Whatever, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, and I'm here in the people of the Springs Lane anyway. Might as well give it a shot. Pick up. your notes. I don't even have to interact with you to explore around. Um, but aren't you from the people of the springs? Oh, maybe there wasn't her note. Uh, that being Glunk, 
isn't going to start getting up, is it? Mm, there'll be trouble with this, but there's only one way through. Do I have to dig a path from on top to get around it? How long would that take? Why don't you just go right over? Not all mechanisms are the awakening sort. Now, aren't you a bold lad? Uh, he's here. Listen, good, alright? Uh, your youth means you still got chances to make mistake, a plenty. But, oh wait, where did you come from? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Whoa, you know, what did you do to her? Uh, that wasn't some sort of invisible attack, was it? Hmm? Uh, I didn't do anything. This, this power doth the adepti of Leo named Gusto. <laughs> really? <laughs> Gusto? What incarnation is that? You're a braggart and a half, aren't you, lad? That was my back acting up. I've been stooping for a good long while, inching my way toward that big lung. And if I stood up too, and I stood up too fast. Sure, fire away to bring the pain is what it is. Used to be that it only flared up when I turned my back on a at a specific angle, but these days the one careless move leaves me in a world of hurt for a good long while. And just so you know, it's a pain o'clock now. And you know, so don't make starting conversations from behind people have it, alright? What about you two? I mean your names. Paimon is Paimon and this little Tepetlisaurus here is Turtledile. I see, I see. In that case, I guess I'll call myself... Why? Aren't you gonna give me your real name? Call yourself? Or are you going to give us a fake name? Now, a person's gonna be on their guard while on a walkabout, don't they? Uh, and here I was going to give you my love rival's name. Uh, young as she is, and energetic too, and worst of all, she's got a healthy back. Don't forget it, that would be a friendly competition, if you take my meaning. So, I have my real name instead, Shikia. Uh -huh. huh, aren't you a cute little fella? You're, you're calling my name, I know it. Anyway, you call me, you can call me Big Sis Chikia. Not Aunt Chikia, so the one I forbid. Alright, Big Sis Chikia. Well, I could just call you Aunt only. Damage. Why did it? Yeah, maybe my connection isn't good today. Damage. Let me check the stream. doing here big sis chick yeah uh, it is a that the million more question uh, what would a person be doing here amidst not but ruins uh, what would your answer be in my lad to rob others or be robbed waiting for someone to strike up a conversation with them no we are doing this all the time it could be uh, search for treasure okay let's say they robbed thing I'm sorry, what sort of environment did you grow up in? Either way, minus 10 points for getting it wrong. All I'm doing is treasure hunting. Oh, treasure. There you go, Paimon. Spare you the effort. Seriously, what are you, some serial line thief? And Paimon's gonna say it anyway. Wow, treasure. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Well, you all sure do get along. Who knows if I hadn't spent so much time tidying woven scrolls that my back gave out. 
I might have made some good friends myself. Either way, I'm on the hunt for an elixir that can cure all injuries. I discovered in a secret scroll. You want it? As everyone knows, if we masters of night wind. Ah, so you are not from. Uh, you are all blue. I thought you were from the spring. Have anything aplenty? It's woven artifacts recording stories of our past. We can split the elixir should we find it. But the true issue here is my back pain. Walking from the hot springs down at, down at the people that are off was exhausting enough. So I need to be able to I need able help for next leg of my search. Mm, therapeutic springs my foot didn't work worth deadly squat I might look like this now but I too was once a pretty less good ride leaping ichthomosaurus on the regular uh, I see you are interested in that elixir huh turtle that grass will be root um, root of future success you know mm. A elixir that can cure all injuries, that sounds amazing. Uh, let's go check it out then. I knew you'd be excited. Those unmoved by treasure can barely be called human. Uh, why, even the coldest blooded saurians get fired up when they hear the word. <laughs> exactly. Right then, in that case, our first objective will be to get past the big lung. I should use the Ignis. Alright. We can destroy that. Just move here for all. My method is always turn out to be true. Or you can Damage. What the hell is wrong with the network today? <sighs> Hang on. Okay, I speed test is fine. Yeah, the speed test is fine. I think this will keep happening today. Oh, no! Ah. I didn't know she had no shield. Didn't think you'd be able to fan the moth with these thin limbs of yours. Don't underestimate Ignis, he's taking way bigger things out than that. Wow. Uh, looks like roping you in was the right choice. I <laughs> uh, guess I got a good eye. Uh, and here I thought you were going to compliment me. Uh, I'll bet you've received lots of that, with that strength and all. Just let poor Chiki get her shirt too. Too, would you? Uh, look at the pictures on these walls. We've come to the right place. Now, according to the ancient scrolls, we need to continue onward. Let's get moving. Uh, not too fast though. I'm gonna have some care for the wounded. And by wouldn't, I mean me. Hmm. Tale of dreams plucked. Hang on. Okay, uh, Theodrine's Plex for Fire. Tracer no tracing. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Okay, uh, let me get 
the map here so I can check the things. Is another man's gem. Uh, I need some. Uh, a whole of Unsolicited, and all the more valuable for it. Oh. Getting hotter, the elixir is really here. Are we precise? The elixir is within. Uh, we need to find a door. Maybe I better get no flash here. I'll probably find more fire enemies. Perhaps we could take a walk by. <laughs> Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully, the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. You wish to find. Hopefully, the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Ah, oh, we have lava penguins as well. That's the door. Well, uh, <gasps> ah, but it doesn't record her. Yeah, give me thought this is flux store. Uh, but the door looks closed. Wow. 
Well, it better be. I mean, an open door will mean that our path to the great treasure is long gone. Mm, you do have a point, Chica. Mm, do you think that it was exactly as those woven scrolls and texts concerning them stated? What do you think? See that flowstone engraving right there by the door? Wow. That's right, uh, you're a quick one, little fella. Sharp eye, too. Researchers have said that Saurian visual acuity differs by species. Saurians are generally further sighted than humans are, though from this distance anyone from the tribe who isn't a visually impaired old lady could spot this flunks engraving. Mm, so this shiny thing is what you call a flugstone engraving, Chica. Uh, sorry, a uh, what engraving now? Oh, a flux engraving, that's right, totally. Your acting could use some work, although I'm not sure what sort of training could help you. Anyway, speaking of flux stone, the, ori the origin of flux engraving, narrowly speaking, comes from the days when Nathan was still ruled by a pirate dragon, who caused humanity to exist only in primitive tribes. In those days, only the dragons could use flogstone. But the sage of the stolen flame, Waxaklahum Ubakan, risked life and limb to steal the flaming seed of it from the great volcano. As such, humans began imitating the way dragons controlled the substance, creating a language by which humanity could exert the same control. This is the basis of modern Nathan's flogstone usage. The results of that are flux engravings, like the one you see before you right now. Magnificent, isn't it? It's still intact even after all these years, still visible to the naked eye. Oh. Wrong. Alright, your turn. Yeah, woo. Very impressive, Chica. Come on, that's kind of blind. Wrong. Um, I didn't know you were the independent sort like that. Inus. So the flogstone engraving here is, as I said before, flogstone engraving is also language. It uses, it looks like mere pattern, but those well versed in the art can understand the meaning in training. And as a scholar on the subject, I should only need a day to analyze these patterns. Or uh, I'll have to wait a day. Wait, you're gonna take a whole day? Yeah, what about it? Now, the pattern looks flat, sure, but every last hook and turn can be redefine the meaning behind the flogstone flow within. Wow, that's super complicated. Yep, flogstone engraving scholarship is a most masterful field of study. So what if you just read the meaning directly using flogstone? Directly? Well, you could certainly do that, but the meaning could, uh, and I mean could, contain some discrepancy. Wait, you can use flogstone, but you're on lane there, aren't you? Well, I could do it the moment I arrived in Atlan. Really? I never knew that could happen. Uh, how could that... I mean, what a rarity. Quite expected of you, I suppose. Anyway, this is a good opportunity to try to save the flogstone for, for yourself. Your hand stops a short distance from the flogstone engraving. You feel a warmth in your body and slowly follow the pattern along the wall. Then the meaning lights up in your mind like a dim star. If you wish to open this door, seek out the unveiling script. Uh, so that's re so. What's recorded in the engravings? It reads as follows. Hmm. That is indeed what it says. Uh, answers of this sort are pretty easy to verify. Uh, in any case, this is a pretty classic theme. There should be an unveiling script somewhere around here with which we can unlock this flung stone engraving. Where is it though? Wow. Yeah, the script with which to unveil this engraving. Wait, you understand me, little guy? Guy. Wow. Hmm, you can feel? Ah, that. Ah, he turned around. Is he trying to say that the script's behind us? Okay, let me put that again there. Huh. I can't understand her. 
well, I need to find the key text we need. Don't worry, there's no rush. The wall around us might help find something. Look on the bright side, lad. You've already saved us a day worth of time. So, really, there's no need to hurry. Uh, if Novelet is a dragon, shouldn't he be able to withstand that without getting burned? Let's be the video script. Come on, let's take it back. Uh. That? Uh. Oh, the door really opens. Well, half of it anyway. Okay, we don't need to open the rest, do we? Ah, nice. Everything about you excess vigor, young lad. Almost makes me wish. What? I don't look that way. Go, spirit door, spirit away, shimmering in the back. Ah, there's more stuff there. Okay, let's just go with the quest. I don't have to sidetrack too much to get stuff. I can get back here later. Uh, plus, to show the reason beam off, collect the video script. Oh! Ah, the thing. Ah. Ah. Disable. Oh, what's that? Well, I was just about to say that this place is getting hotter and deeper in we got. Hotter and deeper in we got, but sure, she sure didn't expect this whole place to be filled with lava. Careful, turtle dive, sleep, you might, it might just be the end of you. Uh, yeah, it, they can you actually go into those rifts that should be full with flogstone. Mm, now they're mentioning it, floaty little Paimons, the safe is here. Uh, that's just one of the reasons Paimons are awesome, you know? They say that those whose heads get too big were up floating away. I was always floating anyway, but that didn't sound like a compliment. Uh -huh. Uh, you're a real bright spark, Paimon, you know what? You know that? That didn't sound like a compliment either, chick, yeah? Anyway, never mind all that. This is the thing we were looking for, right? Uh, what is the thing that we were looking for? That? Uh, it just looks like a clay ring with locks on patterning on it. Do you think this was valuable by any chance? Very much so. In fact, it's probably worth a large sum of more. But its real worth lies in its ability to open the path to the upper sanctum, Hanapacha. Uh, you've seen the islands floating in the sky, haven't you? You mean the ones about the lake? That's right. We call those the upper sanctum due to their inaccessibility by either humans or saurians. They say that the legendary elixir that heals all wounds can be found there, in fact. For people like us, we are constantly in conflict. That is a pure land of peace, a utopia created by the very first human to use flogstone. And now it's time for a question, class. What is an, what was the name of the sage who, in the past, stole the flaming seed of flogstone? Turtle dial? Rawr. Very enthusiastic, but I don't think I heard you right. Rawr. Alright, now then, your turn, lad. What's the name? Uh, Waxaklahen Ubakan Waxaklahen Ubakan Very good, memorize the 
it after him only once, didn't you? I see great things in your future, I do. Anyway, we usually call him the Sage of the Stolen Flame, which is easier by far. Uh, some, who, some also call him a madman or lunatic, but I'd call those compliments as well. He did do some very impressive things regardless, after all. He stole the flaming flogstone seed from the giant dragon and created the upper sanctum using the, the power, before teaching it to everyone in the tribes. This is also, or so the ancient scrolls say, where humans first began practicing with a flogstone. And this special spirit door is a sort of trial. Activating this door will grant you access to the spirit way. Uh, that leads to the upper sanctum. Wow. Well, while I don't know what you're saying, yes, that's where the treasure is. Legend has it that it is a gift given by the sage to those who pass the trial. Wow. Uh huh. So. That's the story. What's the trial like then? Let me have a look. Nah, no, it's fine. I seen the flaws engraving on the spirit door enough times to sear it to my memory. If we wish to open the path, they seek three unveiling scripts. That's right, pretty much the same as before, we just need to find three scripts this time. Uh, I mean, drawing info directly from flaws is impressive, but I personally put more stock in my graphic language comparison. Uh, it seems like the spirit door already has an unveiling script embedded into it. See, a third of it has already been laid up. We just need to find two more. Mm. Uh, my back's aching again. I'll wait for you here while you find those unveiling scripts, alright? This place is very dangerous, so keep your eyes peeled, lad. It's the one there, the one I found already. Scripts, where you are. Commander Dial, how about you? I'm going to go patterns, okay? Just 
this then. Oh, ah, uh, there's one around here. And I found both the invading scripts. Let's head back. Oh, so it was okay. I thought I'll have to get one more still. Ah, uh. ah, uh. see her right here. Oh. Oh yeah, there's that on another thing, is it there? Let's see. Oh, what's up? Oh. Huh. Okay, I thought this was like the one where we got turtle dial. No, ow, oh, wrong button. Ooh, there. Okay. I think we got almost everything here. Yeah! Release the... The traveler. On top of the flagstone. Hmm. Oh, where's the large island? Oh, damn it. The frames again! So this house spirit way looks way illuminated. Ah, she never saw one. the ancient woven scrolls say that when the dim path lights up, it will be like a bonfire being roused once more into a blaze. And they weren't exaggerating. Oh, all right. Uh, you are back, less You are right over there, Paimo. Yep, that was fine. A new turtle dial. Wow. Uh, uh, it's still not getting you there, but it seems you're an injured too. And finally, Inus, uh, I knew you'd be fine, lad. You got a bright future ahead of you, after all. Some concern would have been nice, all the same. Uh, that would be unnecessary. The only thing you need is a trust of others, and you should be proud of that. Hey, what's up? Hey. And doing fine. Uh, no, seriously though, this place is frighteningly full of liquid flagstone. I was concerned for a moment there that you not come back. Uh, I couldn't have returned on my own power with this back, back, bad back. After all, if you fail to return, I have to, I have turned into jerky over here, without ever having found a cure all elixir. Hey. What projects do you have going on? Oh, what's wrong? Chikia, uh, what's with this sudden look? Just remember that when tying it up ancient scrolls previously, I did spot an ancient account of our ancestors swimming in lava. At that time, I thought swimming liquid flux down menace, reckoned it was some wild storyteller's yarn I did. Well, now that I think about it, those were probably those who failed. It was a warning to those attempting the trial. Bro. It's hard to imagine why anyone would draw that, but yeah. Just thinking about it gives me the hippie jibbies. Oh, cool. Uh. No wonder my friend gave me a painted 
a, a pained look. Like one looking at the emotionally warp, warped human monster when I told that story as a joke. We drew it apart thereafter. And that was one of my only friends, you know? Anyway, never mind. Let's head back to the tribe and talk there instead. This whole friend's business should start looking it up once the sage of the stolen flames gives to return to us in glory. Return to the tribe, don't we have to go up? And what's the gift supposed to be? The power of hypnosis. Uh, come on, that's an awful definition of friendship. Hmm. Oh, thanks, but I'm not really needing any panels for the channel now. Uh, no, but more ingredients of success are effective if there is sub substitutes. Anyway, for the sake of friendship, actually, screw that. We're doing this for the gift of for ourselves and for well for selfish reasons anyway because we deserve it all and more. Let's rock. Still, this is the first time I'm riding a spirit way. You dodge if I end up vomiting, won't you? Hmm. Or oh. alright, alright, don't worry, you all. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, thanks, but I'm okay with the way the channel is now. And I do this kind of arts too. Damn, so they took my Lassar away. Yeah, yeah. So I do my own art for the channel. Ah, so this right way, that was quick. I wasn't expecting this experience. We took this time to get our destination. Woo, it took us all the back in instant. Fascinating. If you ask me, Paracon should be placing this stuff everywhere. Yeah, that would be nice. I've always never entered this way before. I've always lived within my tribe's bounds. We have blocks of red wings nearby. Still, I feel like the spirit way is slightly more fun. Our spirit way back to the surface. We're almost there. Didn't it? This fade out. Ah, no worries. Uh, as expected, the spiritual door below is connected to the one in these ruins such that the passage may extend into the sky. The woven scrolls record rightly. Uh, I'm so proud of myself for believing them. Wow. Well, yes, yes. And you're awesome for cooperating with me, Turtle Dial. Uh, what an adorable little fellow you are. How would you like to jump ship over to me, huh? Three square meals uh, of one grapefruit guaranteed. One for each meal is kinda sad, let's be real. Oh, we've got a poach over there, over here. Now, don't you go looking down on the grain fruit. It's a real thick hit among sardines, and it's healthy for them too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll take that as a no then. Uh, to be so close, I'm getting a little envious. We were around when Turtle Dive first opened his eyes. You didn't have a chance to start with. That's so... that close. Mm. That might make for a very painful goodbye, if that time should come though. Hmm? Alright, we are about to reach the upper sanctum, but let us uh, let me take five real quick. Uh, goodness, my back hurts. Has always been the way. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, you know. You leave yourself open to tricks by constantly taking people so seriously. If anything, my back pains decrease mysteriously since meeting you. I wonder what that is. Is there something special about your body that would work with that with a piece of it? Huh? Then would it work with a piece of it of any size, like uh, say a thumb? Where am I giving one to me? I give you mine in exchange. <laughs> give it a shot. No thanks. That's scary. Huh? 
Wait, what sort of weird trade is that? Okay, so I don't know how you grew up land, but I'm sure most people would have refused. I was just trying to scare you, you know? Didn't think you'd get me instead. Alright, uh, just a bit longer and the pain in my back should subside. And then we can head to the upper sanctum together. Okay, now we have that. But can I just jump here or do I have to go higher? Okay. I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. Actually, make that delighted. Originally thought the bunch of the game was below for a quick look around. Well, thanks to you, I think that was a waste of gone to trouble. Why do they keep putting those tags? What do you mean by sticking out? Uh, so here's the thing, I left without telling my friends and family in my tribe. Didn't tell them that they were before. What a sec, isn't that running away from home? So this is the upper sanctum. Uh, from down below you think it was all grey and empty up here. Mm. Well, I thought it would be like this. Indeed, uh, it is said that the floating matter here is held together by the power of Flockstone. Itself a highly vigorous energy source. It's a strange phenomenon, but that is the best way to understand it for now. This also explains not only why grass and flowers grow above it, but also how it warms cold earth anew and ignites a conflagration of souls in the darkness. This is the flagstone, won for us by the sage of the stolen flame, snatched from the very claws of the giant dragon. Uh, speaking of which, that reminds me, when some people in the tribe lay eyes upon the upper sanctum, they had the nerve to doubt that a mere human could create such floating islands through the power of flagstone, thus concluding that the sage of the stolen flame must have been a kind of dragon too. Well, yeah, what do people do with flagstone today? Shouldn't they be able to create floating islands, new floating islands as they please? They actually believe that? People are free to think what they want. I understand that changing the way other people think about the world can be not impossible, but why if it doesn't drive me up the wall? Just because they couldn't do it themselves, they insist that anyone who could must have been superhuman. I'd rather not hang around the people who have such a losing mentality. Uh, anyway, what about the treasure and the elixir? Even that's what we've come for. It doesn't look like there's much for us here. Wow. Uh, yeah, you didn't actually think this was going to be that simple, did you? We are being put to the test by the mad sage of the stolen flame, after all. If the ancient scrolls are right, we must find some mechanism to activate, complete the final trial, and then reach the center of the upper sanctum. But I have no more idea than you as to what the so-called center is supposed to look like. Thinking back, I'm sure the images of the floating islands I've seen before were a bit different from what we're seeing now. But it's possible that as I've aged, even my memory, which I was, I was once so proud of, is becoming reliable. Anyway, seeing as you've come this far, let's rely on our intuition instead. So how are we going to activate these mechanisms? Uh, you should be able to activate them using flowstone, just like the flowstone engraving. That's what's shown in the scrolls anyhow. Apparently the flagstone schisliths all over Natlam were based on the mechanisms here. Making this mechanism damage all the time that uh, I mean at least I'm not Starting multiple streams, am I? No, it's getting the same one, but I have it to 
my OBS Studio is disconnecting sometimes. Ah, I came here. Uh, I managed to get here with the wind current before. I thought I was going to the island that I'm missing on the map. Ah, but I didn't have. Okay, this is the way back. Uh, okay, I think I need to drop it. Ah, there's another one there now. And let me do what the kind of thing I was missing. So, oh, what's that? It reads a description to here. In theory, those things will still be in more ancient language than the plugs on engraving. It's appeared after it was collected. These, those that will receive the flame go to what? What? I didn't read it all. What's here? Ah. Oh. Bitch. Ah, that thing probably. Examine the recent encryption. Uh, put this thing here. Run the game. Those that were still the plane completed the trial and head to the floating island. Okay, isn't that kind of what I'm doing? Alright, that's the thing. Well, this should be the last mechanism. This one is no different from the others. Shakya, you sure you haven't fallen for some kind of trick? Uh, of course not. When it comes to deciphering ancient scrolls, I have great confidence. Some confidence, well, a certain degree of confidence in my abilities. Your confidence is shrinking by the second. Help. Anyway, I'm fairly sure this isn't the last mechanism. If I remember rightly, it should be larger and more complete. Floating islands. Young lad, irrespective of the great promise you've shown, no one will understand you unless you speak in full sentences. As for whether the treasure is real and the elixir really exists, well, you only know once you've given it a try. Well, it, if it doesn't work this time, it will work next. Uh, if not here, then somewhere else. As long as you stay in the game, a miracle is bound to happen sooner or later. Your optimism truly knows no bounds. If we can motivate ourselves to keep trying, that would be a miracle itself. I'll take that as a compliment. Say turtle dice excited too. Come on then, let's use flux and to activate the mechanism. There is an inscription turning the ball, it's trying to choose the follow lines here. Let's play the let's go. Uh, elixir can cure all injuries. Okay, but don't I need a... Okay, but how do I follow without... Ah, that. The spirit will be the final trial. I can't even go sideways. Oh. Look here, the spirit way up here on top. I was trying to read. Ah, does it need to turn? Do I need those things now or something since I don't have points or anything? Everyone that's actually pretty fun.
Something there like this. Let's see. I jumped over it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to look forward and try to read past text at the same time. That's the script is going again. That's odd. I'm going to try to get it this touch, but why? Could be that there's some kind of mechanism. Ah, more dropped frames. Ah, uh, same thing, how come it feels like the whole new island? I don't see you, that the center of the upper sanctum does so mean that with the whole point of. What should make that appear? Or something along those lines. Plane of pure desolation added to the archive. Are those things gonna fight me? Uh, not yet. Well, I never. A hidden island in the center of the upper sanctum. Uh, and. There I was wondering why it looked so different from what I saw in the pictures. So my memory is fine after all. I wouldn't be in charge of looking after all those ancient woven scrolls if it wasn't, huh? But apart from that even larger rock in the middle, there's nothing else here. Or could this giant rock itself be the sage's legendary gift? Well, at this point I generally stumped. In the other scrolls I've seen, the, when the heroes pass the tribe and reach this place, they will sense the spirit of the sage of the stolen flame. Yeah, so other people came in here before. Does this island always vanish? As long as you reach this place by passing the trial, you're supposed to feel as if you're being called somehow. But I have no idea what that means in practice. I was under the impression that I'd be able to work that out once I got here. That I could... Uh, Looks like that was wishful thinking. Stretch out your hand, chosen off, reached. This is a final trial with this, light up the temple with a new. Then, do you know what that means? Raw. Uh, you saw something, you saw something. Gracious me, so the one worthy of the gift was you after all, young lad. I thought we all saw that. Uh, Paimon didn't see anything either. Weird. I saw a golden pattern. Oh. Golden pattern? You mean the same one you saw the first time you met Turtle Dio? Wait, Paimon thought you were just seeing things back there. Well, she got transported to another place with me. Turtle Dio telling Paimon to look up is no use. She can't see it, but seeing as you said it's there. The town sounds familiar too. It's definitely the same person that left that golden pattern before. Oh. So maybe the one left it behind was the Sage of the Sunny Flame? Wait, what? You mean to say that you've previously seen been given a sign by the Sage of the Stolen Flame? I said I had a bright future ahead of you, lad, and what lies before you now, but a future also radiant. I knew you showed great promise, I wouldn't have taken a shine to you otherwise. So, have you figured out how to receive the gift? Hmm. Yes, I had to reach out toward the giant stone tablet. Check 
each other against the means of fun trial is indeed a battle. Solidify! Extract! Silence! Interesting, I'm a person of lava in an island on a lake. Bow your head. Order guide you. Gather. Neutralize. Silence. Are they supposed to spawn weirdly like that? The other level has risen somewhat. And the spring is now full of flogstone. Mm, the water below my knees is warm and I can feel a warmth flowing through my limbs. A lovely sensation. So the sage gift was an, was an elixir that can cure all injuries, but rather the hot spring here? That was not exactly a surprise given the people's springs aren't far off. Uh, Turtle Dive is looking pretty cozy here, there. This isn't just some old hot spring, little floaty Paimon. Once a hero ha who has been chos chosen baits in the spring, they'll be granted the power to wield Flogstone. Uh, don't we already? Really? So what happened if Paimon dives in? Uh, good question. Yes, I think I know. It should be Paimon, just a soaking weapon. Uh, a pyro flash might get you use flogstone too and transform into some kind of super awesome pyro pymo. Sadly, I think not, because you haven't been chosen. Wait a minute, Chikia, you knew that this hot spring would be a final gift, yet you claim you were searching for an elixir that can cure all injuries. And that you shared it with us too? And there are so many types of injury in the world. How could you possibly expect a single elixir to be able to heal them all? When it comes down to it, wisdom is the solution to our, our worries. Yes, I tricked you this time, little Paimon, but when we make mistakes, we learn from them and take one step closer to resolving our worries. Isn't that a wonderful outcome too? Mm, okay, that actually kind of makes sense. So have your injuries been cured? Have you learned how to use Flagstone? No, not at all. My heart still aches from the niggling pain from of all my various injuries. In, in that sense, I've been tricked as well. Tricked terribly by myself. Even if I took a bath in the hot spring fuel flagstone, I would still be unable to use it. In the past, so the ancient scrolls say, tribes people who could not already with flagstone only ever learned to do so by passing the trial. So it hasn't had any effect at all. Wait, you clearly flow nothing, but you can use flogstone. Oh. But well, you know, these delayed responses of yours can be quite hurtful at critical moments like this. Yes, nearly everyone in nothing can use flogstone, but nearly is not all. When I was very young, I once suffered a grave injury, injury in connection with the abyss. It was a miracle that I even survived, and I was in a terrible health. I told you I could jump great distance with the Ictom Sar on my back. But I be fooling you um, but I be fooling you for Ictom Sars can float up and make themselves as light as a feather. So they don't wait a thing. It may well be uh, It may well be due to this injury that I am unable to use Flogstone. No matter what I try, I simply can't do it. I've wrecked my brains for over all kinds of different scrolls, though others view me, them as virtually obsolete. I am well versed in analyzing flaws and engraving through, through patterns. I put lots of effort into memorizing all the meanings, honing the, a great memory while doing so. For me, teaching the children of our tribe the basic about flaws was also an opportunity to observe how they would discover the ability to use it. And speaking of which, I'm quite popular with the children. I know everything there is to know about Flogstone, and the more I understand, the more in awe of it I am. But the more 
all I feel, the more regret and frustration I feel for not being able to wield it myself. Uh, it was all thanks to you that, I were, that we were able to make it through all those trials. I understand that to learn skills from ancestors, sacrifice must be made. But I simply don't have that kind of courage. Perhaps that's why I can't use Flogstone. Shake uh, you. Oh. It's alright, I came to terms with it a long time ago. It doesn't work this time, there's always next time. I'll find a way eventually. Thanks so much, I'm grateful for everything you've done for me, Ignus. I know I keep saying it, but uh, you have a fine future ahead of you, lad. Not only are you amazingly talented, but you are so kind as well. Unlike me, for whom everything seems to be set in place now, lad, I'm sure you have many more incredible adventures to look forward to. I'm a little jealous, to be honest. Ignus, young lad full of promise. Wherever the road takes you, may your travels be smooth forever and always. That's sent to you. I'm sure you achieve your aspirations. If there's no elixir that can cure all injuries, I'm sure you'll find an elixir that can cure your injuries. Ah. Thanks. Thank you, Paimon, Inus. Well, and last but not least, Turtle Dial. Your words have genuinely moved me, Inus, really. I'm touched by your by what you say, lad, because you you're somebody that people can count on. All right, let me rest here a little lo a while longer. This hot springs my relaxing. After all, I was soaking here for a bit, then get back to pouring through ancient scrolls for a cure. I might be in for scolding for running off from home, though. But just as you said, lad, I'll have to work hard to achieve my aspirations. Parts here? No. <laughs> Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Okay, this large island, and there isn't really much here. There's only the chest we saw. Oh, those things I grabbed here, and the chest we saw. When arriving, oh, I didn't see her. Oh, it's you, the lad with the bright future ahead of him. What's up? The journey got you tired enough to for a soak in the hot spring? Well, I haven't learned how to use flogstone yet, but my back's no longer killing me as much as before. So at least seems that like the healing effect here is better than over at the people of the springs. Though I'm still a long, long way away from achieving my real goal, not having such bad back thanks to this hot spring surely counts for about, say, 10%. Yeah, but if she can't use Flogstone, how will she live here without us? She can't really activate the Spirit Way, can she? <laughs> ah, here. Let the record show that I verbally consent. Alright, now there is that other quest mark there. So let's check that. And the frames are dropping again. Uh, okay, I think I 
change back to Arlequino. No need to fret. Oh, she's almost dead. This wasn't really my intention, now that I've seen it. I think that's of course quest marker that is walking. Pains of rock entwined with golden runes added to the archive. Uh, shadow paints and mm, shadow paints. Mm, it's a Big problem, man. What a terrible look. Still, uh, wouldn't this make up for a pretty interesting store opener? Uh, hang on, let me just mark the things I just grabbed here. Alright. Tito, the tribe's old style retailer, spoke of what he had seen. On the day of that great earthquake, he saw the giant shadow paint plunge beneath the earth. And that was how all the calamities began. Well, this per person sure is, is spotting some scary stuff. Ah yes, you've sure gotten slow. Didn't even notice them until they were right under your nose. That lines from a story I read recently. Made a real impression on me. Still, if you ask me, if it's dropping isn't usually considered a sign of virtue. Don't blame us, you were the one talking super loudly. Wow. Ah, this is also about him. Uh, really? Well, uh, that makes things awkward. And uh, hey, come on little fella, why are you back in these outliners? Just, what side are you on? Wow. Alright, alright, still, it's quite a strange little ensemble. Two outlanders and a special little Depetosaurus. The social studies bookworm sure would love to see this. Wait, you can understand what the turtle dive is saying? Understand Sauron speak? Huh, you got to be kidding me, no one can do that. What do you think they say anyway? Hello, my name is Turtle Dive. Yeah, they actually say stuff. Kinda like that. But I'm one of the children of the Echoes, of Echoes, and we've always, we are always around the Pathosaurus. You can figure out what they are trying to communicate from their eyes, their expressions, and their, their humming no noises they make. Anyway, introductions are in order. Tito, that's my name. I'm Ospaimo. I'm Ignus. Rawr. And this is Turtle Dial. Please, we introduced ourselves without a fight. That makes us friends. Hmm. So people, that's why most people attack us. Uh, introductions with fights, we're enemies. Introductions without fights, we're friends. And word of advice for a friend: this place is dangerous. Why don't you head over to the Pillar of the Springs instead? We've got it all over there. They've got it all over there, hot springs, relaxing music, chicks and hunks in swimsuits, the works. Uh, all we've got here is a couple of huge salt pillars. It, it even sounds boring. Well, no, those are, those are big salt pillars. Then what are you doing here? And that's another response I expected. In fact, uh, that's a worrying amount of excitement about uh, big salt pillars. Uh, it's been doing 
poorly of late, I'm afraid. The Shadow Pin Spirit was weakening, and the shadow which should have it should have been in place would soon silently slip away. This is a nice shot. Uh, you know what? Uh, that will make good starting point for a story. Huh? Uh, sorry, I gotta be carried away thinking about stories there. Telling tales, storyteller, is my responsibility here in the tribe. Was that storyteller? Uh, I don't know what would be the name of that. Hint, text, really necessary. Uh, here in the tribe, so after, and after so many years, it's time for me to come up with some originals. And of course, something just had to go wrong with the shadow pin, just as I was a few days into my musing. Because why would it ever rain when it could pour? So when the rock fell down, he saw the giant shadow pin plunge beneath the earth. Uh, now, fair warning, uh, that's that bit's just speculation. Things might not have gotten that bad yet, but some accident has indeed happened with the, this pain one can do nothing about one can do nothing about is there really nothing you can do well I could make a record of it all as a way as an eyewitness the way I'd also have a new tale I guess or wait you've just given up already well it's not his job I suppose he should warn the tribe but he's not his responsibility. Actually, there's something else Paimon wanted to ask. Why is this song called Shadow Pain? And what's the shadow? Were I telling the children a story, I'd say that the wild hung the pins here, hung the pins here to pin the shadow of the volcano lord in place. But that which is still beneath them is, in truth, the abyss. That's how most tales not are. Their embellished narratives held up as warnings, and all their rhetoric is kind of a metaphor. Wait, so you mean the abyss is actually still below here? That's right, and two out of three small shadow pins have recently floated up. Perhaps when the third floats too, all evil beneath the earth will come surging up like a tide. You have three of these? Oh, so there are still three more big stone pillars. Yeah, it sounds like something you should warn the people. The chief, at the very least. Uh, friend, don't mind me, but where does your interest in stone pillars come from? Also, let me remind you, the three lesser shadow pins aren't anywhere near this large. Wait, if the story is true... It's getting bothersome. In fact, lesser shadow pins have floated in the past. According to the stories, that's exactly how it was handled. Uh, uh, things are trickier this time, though. Where, where the abyss involved, we can stand idle. Perhaps I could lend a hand. And that's right, we solved a whole bunch of similar problems before. We're experts now. Really, not that I'm doubting your abilities. That much I could tell just from how you move, Inus. I mean to say, are you really willing to help? Since it's the abyss we're talking about, even I can't say for sure how dangerous things will get. Oh, so scary, I regret everything. And alas, now my stomach suddenly hurts. Oh dear, I do so fear that Dangers, the only one for me. Hey, stop it. If I was just complimenting you too, also your acting is terrible. Anyway, the point is that will help. Wow. See, Turtle, I agree as well. Uh, like the flame that appears in the darkness, so too will heroes rise up in times of great peril. Human possibility shines through in glory at moments such as this. You know what? This could make for a great story too. Indeed, 
You know, you've got some traits that even those stars, star heroes don't have. I'm looking forward to this, I must say. Let's go then, dear heroes. Uh, let's go and check on our floating shadow pins. Oh yeah, I was on that. Touch it, you see, put the pet in the air. Okay, let's give them first. A little obvious. Stabilize. Greater pleasure is there than the unexpected. Hmm, <laughs> it didn't go down. This is the first of the lesser shadow pins. The condensed solid flux don't lie scattered. And the reason recent inscription on it has lost its constraining powers. Uh, just as before, the abyss influence has squeezed it out of the stone pillar. By recent inscription, do you mean that shiny golden stuff you just we saw just now? Not to mention it, I think we've seen them before. You have in Nathan? That's not something that ordinary travelers or adventurers often see. Ancient legends tell that before the idea of Nahan was even born, when this land was ruled by, an, by the ancient dragons, the language by which they wielded flogstone was the Eurydice inscriptions. These days, none understand the meaning hidden in these lights, only the gold engravings scattered across Nahan remain to mark the trail of those ancient dragons. Wait, so you know how to work? how to work it, but not how it works. We cannot decipher the meaning of descriptions, but the way we use the flag, we use flags on are the same, so we understand it on that level. Let me try to explain. So, Liu has those mysterious adaptive mechanisms, yes? And while humans don't know the principles underlying their function, they can still make use of them. That's more or less what I'm talking about despite the imperfect analogy. Uh, so that's how things are. Bro, what is it? Is your stomach upset? Hmm? Well, does it even look like <laughs> a stomach problem? Turtle I do you like those shiny golden things? Oh. They're not for eating though. I don't doubt they could be eaten anyway, but still. Watch what you chow down, okay? Bro. So much, to s so much to say that we'll need uh, the shiny race inscription uh, to push the pin back down, right? Correct. Think of the inscription as an eggshell that has been shattered by the expanding abyss. We will need to find the broken shards and fix the shell. Only then can the abyss within the seal be sealed away. Uh, that's a better knowledge than the last. I agree. Uh, that's uh, super. E that's super easy to understand. All right, then let's begin. If you're ready, Inus, please touch the inscription beneath the pin. We've got to collect as much of the inscription's power, scattered as it is around the stone pillars, as you can. Of course, the abyss will resist, so be careful. Please be careful. Okay, so there'll be a. Ah. What's wrong? It's just a recent inscription. We need the lesser shit. I don't think if you want to start gathering inscriptions power, we should stay safe, though. Hmm. What's wrong? 
point, I should use the pigs before having attack, be careful. Hmm, can I just blast them all at once? No, that just hurts me. Child, they're missing coming, looks like I've taken care of them too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like Kachina could do that, so maybe many of the children there could get a word on that. Oh no, she will die. Everlasting as the moon! Who? Late bear! Yeah, I think he should have warned somebody, uh, his tribe, about this. I can't believe uh, that worked. That was truly really a scene from Out of the Star Song. Um, the cacophony fell silent and the pain returned to its original state. Then its giant form crashed to the ground. Oh, to think that someone could really accomplish this. This isn't a dream, is it? You're all real, aren't you? Not figments of my imagination. Wake up, wake up, you got to fix this yourself. Hey, there's no need to be so mean. But anyway, didn't I tell you, it's super strong. Uh, you think so too, don't you, Turtledile? You weren't affected by the beast, were you? Relax, it's just the beast. I'm alright for now. Even our strong warriors must remain vigilant when they. Uh, and then some in the face of the abyss. Or no ordinary or no person, Ignos. <laughs> Who knows? The story I spin from this material might even surpass those by Sang Sang Hajj. Huh? Uh, well, that sure sounds impressive, but who's Sang Hajj? Uh, for those who tell stories in their tribe, Sang Hajj of the Masters of the Nightwind is worthy of reverence indeed. Alas, time is short. I'll tell you more about Sanhaj when we've got more time. Alright then, let's head for the next floor in Shadow Pain. I want to fix this issue and start writing by nightfall. Woohoo, let's go, let's go. Alright. Uh, what? Ah! What? Is there something special What greater here? pleasure is there than the unexpected? Uh... Uh... Is there a... A reason? Yeah. Oh, why did he appear in front of this one? It doesn't show up in front of the others. No, oh, I should. I should have stayed right on the. on the tapetosaurus.
Uh, aren't those dragon bones that we see around? Since this was a land of dragons. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. this <laughs> come on show me your courage <laughs> out of the way or get no away late bear Strange, the golden pattern flew right over there just as far, but the inscription hasn't appeared beneath this pillar. Why is that? That indicates that not only has the inscription been squeezed out, but it's also been become fragmented. This is bad. We need to find any scattered bits and fast. Uh, so where do we find them? I don't know either. Hmm. They should still be held down by some power despite being scattered, so my guess is that they're nearby. Maybe we just need to look around. Roar, roar. Mm, you wanna go over? This is something important right now. We'll play with you later, right? Uh, do you mean that the inscription is over there? Roar. Oh wow, I heard that even now. There is still sergeants who can sense an inscription power. But I thought, I always thought it was hearsay. Could it be true? I suppose you really are no ordinary the better sort of dial. So you can do that too, huh? Hmm. You've got some way to go before you can be as good as a guy like Spymo. Hmm. Almost jealous. See, Spymo's praising you. Says who? Spymo's way more broad-minded than she looks, and that was just her way of praising him. Mm -hmm. The little guy didn't catch that at all, uh, but if only he was a little smarter. I'm sure he'll understand someday. Precisely. Those in the tribe responsible for Sorian care always say that it takes time to truly establish a rapport with them. The secret to success is follow, exercise patience, and constantly communicate. Whether humans wish to understand Sorians or Sorians humans, 
they both need lots and lots of time. True. Just like Paimon didn't get what Turtledile was trying to tell us just now either. Sorry, Turtledile. Uh, you're quick re to reply though. Paimon give it that. Alright, we'll follow you and see if we can find any golden pa patterns. Be able to go through. Okay, red metal key. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Bingo. That. No, that's not. Where are you? Here. Um. Search together for description. Uh, you mean here this place is empty? Oh, they dropped nothing. Pick downwards, so you surely read the inscription. It's not down there. On the way down. One on the chest there. I don't know if there were more stuff on the way. We can swim underwater in Natlan, but we can't swim underwater in we can't swim underwater in Fontaine, but we can't swim underwater when possessing uh, 
aquatic being in oh is that the right side okay that doesn't do Oh. Guess I'm too little. Okay, the connection fell again. I don't know if you got when I interacted the stuff and disappeared. I have the space, there's nothing. I can still hit me on the ground. Mm, if far away, surely the eggshell should have should be completed right now. The resist group should be made it now. Let's head down below. Let's reshuffle the paint. Take a look. Hang on. Is there something up here? Because. Yes. No. Okay, here's a fun. This room is this way. Okay. This room. Ah! 
Nochmals. one just fell. Alright. Hmm. I didn't have to fight anything here. We did it. The two shadow pins have been placed back into Earth. Roar. Nice work. Not a round of applause, couldn't work. <laughs> I clap my hands till they fell off if I could, but then I couldn't write another story, so forgive me for not doing so. Still, I assure you that in my heart, none but bones remain attached to my wrists. Uh, or, uh, yeah, that's gonna kind of creepy. Uh, really? Uh, and here I thought that kids they like their stories with a little dash of darkness. Uh, watching the shadow pin burrow back into the ground was uh, really takes a lot off my soul. Long-standing tradition dictates that we now only need to check the third lesser shadow pin and the greater shadow pin. And we can call this job well done. I've been successfully busted not to return for a good long time. The rest of this trip should be quite safe, so feel free to come along and chat with me. I like to know the heroes I'm describing into our tribe's stories better, you know? Uh, in that case, you've got to say something like this. The mighty Paimon was as tall as a mountain. In that case, I like to be as large as two. Oh, what do you mean by that, little guy? I want to be as tall as three mountains. Oh. Uh, third die, you truly are sorry of prodigious appetites. No, no, no larger than two. Why be mean to the new guy? Oh. Uh, sure, sure. In that case, my brave warriors, Paimon is as tall as a mountain, ends with a stature of two. In third die, uh, who has the bulk of three. Uh, would you kindly come with me? Tiro, the poor little human-sized dwarf, to check on the last little shadow thing. Okay, so... There you go. Uh, so I don't need to get in there. Where I got the key. Oh, I got a freaking key. Oh, I'm gonna use it. It's right here. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Yeah, a good loot, but nothing really special. Alright, now let's go check. Uh, the sorry thing isn't here.
up. Wonderful, it's solid. Almost as if it was grown out of the verse from the verse soil. More robust even than the roots of the great mother tree that grows beneath the sails of canopy. Smelting cliffs. I didn't pay attention. It's built on a, a huge tree. Now I can head back and take up my ships in peace. Of the three lesser shadow pains, the most reliable you remained. If I should ever pay a tale about the pains of forming into lovely tribeswomen, you shall be the loveliest amongst them. Huh? Wow, so you were one so you were the one most interested in stone pillars all along, huh? Shocking. Hey now, then that's ignorance speaking. Here in Athlon we believe that pure spirit intelligence dwell within all things. For us, things taking on human form is a most traditional thing. For example, the tail of a beech tree, sh tree's shadow, that transforms into a young woman, a shadow, and a young flower feather clan tribes men who fell from the sky. Or the story of a man who was human by day, but would morph into a saurian under the moonlight at night. <laughs> uh, many are the ways such tales are told, but they are all variations on the same theme I spoke of. Is that really true? Sounds a little dubious to me. Huh. Well, that is what a lot of stories say. That much I'll swear to you. Uh, I swear to you as one of who tell tales. Uh, wait, what about the Shadow Pin story? Uh, there's no real shadow for the Volcano Lord, is there? And if the shadow is the abyss, then what is the a thing really? Oh, you're a lot sharper than I thought, little Paimo. Let's see. Where should I start is such a story? Long ago, the mountain range where the children of Echoes made their home was not as it is today. It was more normal, more complete, more lovely. Everything changed when the Carrion Catastrophe struck. The Carrion Catastrophe? Indeed, Nathan's ley lines were always special and somewhat delicate, and so this calamity brought other devastation. They said that the Night Kingdom was severely damaged in that disaster, and the Totem Poles lights grew dim. The Wild could not hear the tribe's cries. And upon land, the. Oh, now the camera is lagging. And upon land, a dark tide of disaster blazed toward the mountain range, brought on by two Carrion soldiers. It was they who were the source of the troubles. Carrion soldiers? That's right, at the time the tribe's leader had gone forth to the Lone Island in the west to resist the giant beast. beasts. Elder Trower had, had no choice but to contain with the abyss and those who too abject Carrions. Finally, the tribe's warriors and saurians, exhausting their spirit, flesh, and blood, found a way to use the really sense description fashioning giant stone nails out of solid flogstone. The Elder Traore was first to leap into the dark pit, crying, With a beast shook and ensnare death, let us flip the script. With death and sacrifice, we shall ensnare the abyss. The brave warriors followed him, and after much sacrifice, the beast was at last sealed beneath the earth. This is the true tale of the past. Even the children of Echoes, who excavate solid flogstone and gems for a living, know that the flogstone around the stone nails must remain untouched. So that's the story. That happened five centuries ago, and yet you made it sound like it was something you saw yourself. That's a storyteller's duty. I love my work, and amongst all of the tales I tell, I love the stories of these heroes the most. 
I'm not a nimble fellow, nor am I the best fighter. If anything, I'm the furthest thing from a hero. But when I tell their stories, I feel like I'm right there, traveling, adventuring, and fighting alongside them. I feel them smile upon me, egging on me, as if standing in the shadows of the bonfires, listening to me as they would a frame bragging of their exploits. Uh, and perhaps that is how I fight alongside them, by ensuring that their stories will be passed down and remembered, from generation to generation. Uh, wait a second, so what does that elder story have to do with the Volcano Lord? And why do Shadow Pins have that name? Hmm. <laughs> Still thinking about that, Paimon? It's simple, it's just a little play on words, commonly done with many stories. It's called a Shadow Pin because it pins shadows, easy, right? Hmm. Uh. Uh. Wow, the two of you made the same noise. <laughs> Uh, that's not where Paimon thought this was going. Wait, what's going on? You're shaking it up and down. It's, it's the ground that's shaking, Paimon. Uh, wait, what's going on? You're shaking it up and down. She repeated the same thing? I blame Tizos off of Jape. Come on, uh, my joke wasn't that disastrous. It's the big pink shadow. The big shadow pink. Uh, and that's where the tremors are coming from. Something's is wrong, come on. We need to get back there. Why did this... We drove all three lesser pins into the ground, but the abyss influence is getting stronger. That's impossible. The Woven Scroll story is clearly stated that things our experiences do not prepare us, do not prepare us for do sometimes happen. It's more accurate to say that accidents happen so often that even Paimon stopped being surprised. Could it be that some change has overtaken the beast surging within a ley la the ley lines, causing its resistance to grow stronger? Either way, it feels like something terrible is, about is happening down there. Why don't we try getting a closer look? Uh, please do it. Let's be up there. Oh, it's about to come crashing down. Means, I'm a turtle. Are you all unhurt? I'm okay, kinda. Oh, ah, uh, you don't look injured, turtle. Dial. Did a big pillar scare you just now? 
uh, good to see they're okay. I was pretty frightened too. Uh, there's no way I get injured with that much smoke around. There's no way I get injured with that much smoke around. Come on, I can't. Okay, well, that was a lucky break, I mean, it's a misfortune. This cloud of smoke is huge, every bit as large as the plumes of volcanic ash hurled by the Volcano Lord in the stories. Still, Paimon didn't think that the big shadow ping would come crashing down in or such a big hole in the ground. Uh, so that, uh, to be honest, I don't know what comes next, but... Um, we can always inspect the hole first, for all we know, maybe this isn't too big a deal, right? It could be the right moment for some sort of ironic twist after all. You know how little how a bandit finds that the treasure he spent half his life searching for is actually worthless, as this place we've guarded for centuries has been empty all along. Or maybe we'll find that the start of the shadow things is but a 5 century old prank <laughs> that some born ancestral of ours came up with. Sorry, I know I'm rambling, but I can't help but be nervous. Uh, either way, I have no clue what we'll find down there. But still, I will go. Hey, don't worry about it, we'll come with you. Doesn't look too serious, it's just a really big hole, right? Just like a normal kind of, just a normal kind of big, really. The shape's kind of ugly too. Uh, I don't give this whole three stars. I need to come up with that kind of Captain Consoner, huh? Sure, we've seen lots of these, but far. Hey, don't you copy him when he's being a bad role model? Uh, you don't want to pick up bad habits. That's where the greater shadow being fell, it seems. It's gone down much deeper than I imagined. It's almost like there was a huge open space down there to begin with. Right, this huge space can have appeared because Shadow Pin fell through it. It must have been here long before, with the Shadow Pin suspended above it. To prevent anything that might crawl up from surfacing, perhaps. Through. Anyway, things look all right over here for now i'll report back to the tribe later uh, uh, calamity pain save uh what was that Roar, i heard a voice what's wrong you all don't look so good especially you tiro i didn't notice anything uh, it's as feared the written inscription on the pain must have sent something down there causing it to fall the legend is real, the spirits of the fallen Carrion soldiers are about to emerge. Or Tito, are you okay? Not really, I'm afraid. The voice so cold, so coarse. Just listening to a few syllables was like running my brain across sandpaper. Um if it's that bad, why don't you stay here and keep watch? Just make sure no one falls in at all. And as for us, we'll go down and see what's happening. No, you can't. It's dangerous down there. There's no reason it should be put in more peril and I'll not be the one to do it. We've exchanged names, but not blows. Uh, that makes us friends. Huh. So calm in the face of danger. Are you used to it? Or is it just the natural result of possessing overwhelming strength? Uh, let's go down together then. Though so I do not have the power to resist the beast, I am uh, one who tells tales. I might be of some help regarding uh, the below natural surface. Besides, to witness things um, to their completion is a storyteller's duty. But let's take five first. Uh, once we're ready, let's head into this cavernous cat, shall we? Uh, 
but I let me check the I'm pretty sure I won't repair that uh thing over there. Yeah, but this thing probably wouldn't sh vanish from here. I will get a, a picture from before it falls. At least I've never seen more than one option for those. Uh, hang on. Jump to start. Page in the... Oh, I closed the map. I think I closed the map. Uh, okay, just a moment. Alright. Such agony leap. Voice become clear as so in my head. Hmm, I heard some thinking. Ah, it's that. Thunder is uh, supposed to be the thing. Seems to uh, must figure out the scriptures point two. Oh, that was a stone. Ah, uh. why well, there is a stone tablet here? May have been left by the tarps folk of the past. That happens quite often. Uh, around here. Long ago, this was a boundary marker telling you that you're, uh, you've crossed the line. You can sometimes find stones with patterns carved in white on them throughout our lane that serve a same purpose. They're just all being abandoned. Uh, so that's what's happened. Boundaries and borders are no laughing matter here. Between the living and the dead, within and without, above and below, only those who have crossed these lines can grasp the dangers they face. Uh, it is said that there was once a stone tablet in the in an ancient ruin that read thus: "If any tread past this stone with ill intent, my hand shall drink claw become, and grasp their neck shall, and grasp their neck shall I." Oh, wait. What if this stone tablet has some sort of warning or curse on it then? Uh, I can tell at a glance. Uh, Trower left this here to think that. Uh, wait. I haven't heard that name. He told us. Ah, that's the other who fought against the beast. Or. Oh. Oh, you're quite the avid listener, Mr. Teller. A lot of people like you, you know? After all, the capacity to remember such tales is the best quality that all storytellers must have. Let me see. Uh, Mother marker inscription. I am the other of the children of the Echoes, Trower. Trower. Maybe. Uh, I leave this inscription here. I am the storyteller of the children of the Echoes, Trower, and I leave the inscription here. I'm the shield and spear of the children of Echoes, Trower, and I leave the inscription here. Uh, to impart those to those who will come after and to seek instruction from the ancestors and Wyop, and to smooth out my present wrinkles. Uh, here I shall leave three blessings. Uh, the first for my ah, gain lagging damage. Okay. Here I shall leave three blessings. The first for my friends from afar. Let us have one more drink. Zephania and Irizar. Uh, you who guided the black flo 
flood here uh, to the place of the seal. You do not wish me to name your deeds heroism, for you see it as only doing your duty. You would prefer to be known as cowards, rogues, or thorn in our side, that you should ever increase our vigilance, uh, like an amphid that bites a saurian. And uh, as the storyteller does did I promise you, yet I must speak the truth here. Forever and always shall you be heroes who fall alongside our tribe, and the brother king to the children of Echoes. The second is for the vigilant ones who sac were sacrificed. Let us have one more drink, my warriors, for we are illuminated by the incandescent god, and guided by our chief son, Jata and shall not tarnish their great names. We pray to the spirit of Waxaklahun Ubakan, the madman who stole fire from the throat of the great dragon, to give to him we willingly offer our deaths and lives, that he may block the arcane magics of the beasts with radiant glyphs. As an elder, I bless the warriors. May we one day be free. May every death have meaning, for all life has place to return. The third is for those who come after and read the inscription. Let us have one more drink, those who come after, for our hope for our future. If you are reading this, know that the situation is dire, but that is no time for fear. As the shield and spirit of the tribe, I bless you. Know well the fortress forged from the sacrifice of flesh and blood cannot stand forever. Uh, and the only true immortality is the indomitable spirit. May you be able to win final victory. Victory. He says, "Friends from afar, Zephaniah and Irizar, uh, you would prefer to be known as cowards, rogues, or thorn in our sight. They will never increase our. That you should ever increase our vigilance, uh, like an aphid that bites a saurian." And I must speak the truth forever and always shall you be heroes who fought alongside our tribe, uh, the brother king of the children of Echoes. Oh wait, so those Karyans fought alongside the tribe then? Well, the names of those two have always featured, have always featured stars as the embodiment of evil. They're even, they've even appeared in my nightmares. If you don't stop crying, the ghosts of the Karyan soldiers will follow the sound and track down your shadow. So they said, but it was all a lie. Such injustice that those who gave all for our tribe should bear such slander. Yeah, that's so sad. Or oh, they did not care for their good name. They only wish to see their will fulfilled. So that's how it is. I'm gonna get it. Most heroes don't do great deeds to become heroes. They become heroes because they do great those deeds. That's why they don't care about what others think of them. Perhaps you're right, but uh, there the recent inscription goes. Hmm. Hey, isn't wasn't the room in at the ending of? Mario Odyssey like that. Wow, so this this must be where they finally sealed the abyss. Look, Enos, there are so many golden patterns in the middle there. We can also see traces of the abyss, of abyss leakage here. Looks like that's the thing attracting the recent inscription. We need to get over there and have a look. Oh. A uh, stone chamber of shifting crystal pillars added to the archive. Zephaniah. 
Leave seal this place as promised. The voice seems to come from the very depths of the unmoving statue. The rejection of those words are like two resolute hands that aim to push you from this place. Here is our leave, go, don't want him to see me like this. Do I seem to come from the very depths of the most time? There's need of respect towards someone remaining within. Told you it's dangerous. Get out of here. Calamit, the seal torn apart. Mm. The voice is more complete now, but somehow it's not as frightening as before. My head still hurts a little, though. I have feelings. It's no big deal. And that's what they call surround sound. Oh, uh, wait, that's not what Pam was asking at all. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense here. Uh, anyway, how are you feeling, Turtle Dial? Mm. Uh, looks like you're fine too. Mm, now that we're here, it's clear that the voices we heard coming from the stone pillars must have been those of the carrying soldiers who've been sealed here too. Brr. That means they were sealed for many years alongside the beasts, but what's gone wrong here? I think the problem here is similar to the one we encountered with the lesser shadow pins above. The surging abyss has caused the recent inscription's power to shatter and be squeezed out of the giant ceiling pillar. Mm, that means we need to find large inscriptions, fragments, and find a way to put this eggshell back together again, right? Indeed, the way the seal can be fully restored and the abyss will stay sealed in place. Then everything will likely go back to normal. But as with the lesser shadow pins, the solid flux on the surface will have an intense adversarial reaction to the abyss, which is why the ground undulates so. You must be careful. Mm. Oh, where are we gonna find some fragments though? Uh, can you sense the description's power hidden inside that thing, Turtle Dial? You sure do have a pretty sharp nose. Wait. You were using your nose, right? Wait, was that stone even there before? Did it just appear to approach the large description it was? Hmm? Uh, whatever, let's take a look around the rock first, shall we? Transfix! Reconstitute! Order guide you! Let's put break that. Oh, great, sorry. That's cool. Oh, okay. Shoot up. Uh, look, there's another one of those. Wait, don't I have to grab a. Uh, don't have to grab. Uh, sorry, I'm here. Oh. Just in case. Seven rock containing scriptures parts, we matched. Okay, put there.
Okay. Going go up. Okay. Oh, more laggy. Oh, it's not enough. Solidify! Neutralize! This is where you go. Overrule! Around it, uh, half of the prime mage. About Blessed that for me. Oh. Mm, just touch you once more and let the power of the flagstone flow fully through the inscription. That way, the eggshell should seal up completely, preventing the beast from escaping. Yeah, that should solve our problem. Let me try. Was it us doing that kind of thing before? Quick, quick, seal us inside too, just as we agreed. Then leave. Get out of here. Why aren't you leaving? The calamity. Listen, this, there are more voices. More than those two soldiers, for sure. Behind the conscriptions. From a place further still than the ancient house, uh, you hear wrathful roars and the pain whimpering of Saurians. You hear the sound of inchoate flesh and blood merging. The sick giant sticky approaching footfalls of some giant thing beyond the description. But you also hear something like thousands of hands, thousands constantly resisting, pushing outward. You hear, you hear, you hear the endless battle in the narrow darkness. It is torment unto eternity. Or they cannot find peace. They fight on. They fight on still. Those heroes are still locked in battle to this day, preventing the beast from flooding out from the erased inscription. The stars I tell have purpose. We must always remember those brave warriors and their sacrifices. And yet, such suffering, though so the heroes were wounded. Damn it. And yet, such suffering, though those, so the heroes were wounded, they shook it off and stood up. Nothing hurt the thaw. And that is what the stars say. But real wounds cannot be so easily shaken, nor true torment so easily conquered. There, there they have suffered so long in that tiny, lifeless world. 
Isn't there anything you can do for them? I want two as well, but the abyss. Perhaps the only thing you can do is inherit the will and reseal the inscription. Nor has this been the first time the Shadow Queen has fallen in our tribe's tales, anyway. Some moments have been here before, and some moments have read Trower's tablets. Tablet. Those who came before to restore the inscription must have seen what we saw. And yet, our stories did not change, for the warnings they gave were real, as were the dangers. Uh, all we can do is restore the inscription and leave to remember always and never forget all that we have witnessed. Still, uh, they're supposed to be the heroes, but they've been left here to suffer forever. You're right, Paimon. There's no way for heroes. I know that. I wish to give them peace too, but I don't have the power. I'm just a star teller. Venus. Or Don't worry, we're stronger together. Let's reward re rewrite these stories, Amy. Really? You'd do that? Of course you would. Cross my most heart. Or the abyss is dangerous being compare. I'm not questioning your strength, but don't push yourself too hard. Don't worry, we've got experience with stuff like that, like this. And we have the inscription in a pinch too. True. You're even more impressive than I could have imagined. Uh, to be willing to give your all to resolve others' pain. True, you are great heroes. And I am a star teller, so I will record the tales of heroes. Well then, Ignos, oh hero from another land, please. Uh, show me how you shall valiantly triumph over the abyss. That we shall do. So, shall we unseal the reader's inscription uh, now, or do you want to make some preparations first? I mean, I don't think this will take too long. Maybe it's just. Maybe it'll be just a hard fight and I may need to set a party. But we're good, let's go now. Alright, I wish you success, Ignus. Bring the warrior's peace. Didn't we agree? We can make our exit so in the seal of the land. Oh, so. What's that? Oh, we don't even have too much health. Order guide you. You shall not pass. Stabilize. Late bear. Witness my lies. A little ambiance. When it is done, the second coming, they seem to have passed an instant. Oh, thank you. This is weird. There was all that scattered light earlier, and then we suddenly found ourselves here. Mm, that's. Is it fur like that of night? Come over here. Yeah, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Uh, you have brought so many slumberers. They. who should have rested in peace. Okay, this isn't the abyss, this is the night realm, right? So, okay. Perhaps they pray to spirits they should not have besieged. But that was a moonless night, where not could, see, could be seen. The night has long forgiven them, yet hate and filth shall never rest, and they too shall never truly sleep again. 
Thank you, all you who are beloved. You have soothed their fury, which rage in the darkness. Uh, it was you who brought them into the night's reflection. The outlined souls, too, may now return where they were headed. Go now, but beware the fearful instigators and the ends plotted by those fearing you intent. That was weird. Do we vanish physically from here? You're back. Try to die. I were worried, honestly. But uh, what did I say, little fella? They're fine, see? Uh, not that we could explain where we just went now. It's a little start for sure. We saw going cat. I see. In any case, thank you, Inus. I never expected that the abyss were here could truly be purified. The radius inscription too is gone. Almost as if he no longer needed to stay. The tormented voices have also fallen silent. And the golden light, how it flowed like water spreading across the ground. I even felt as if there were people within the light, waving at us. Oh. Did you see them too, little one? And there was the light that surrounded you, and then you were gone. Uh, we didn't see anything though. Uh, thank you so much once again, Ignus, Paimon, you too, Turtle Dial. Uh, you truly are remarkable heroes, thank you. On behalf of all those warriors who can finally uh, know peace, Trower's final wishes have been fulfilled. And as for those two Karnia soldiers, no, Karnia heroes, now that the Abyss is no longer present, they need no longer serve as a warning to us. I must pen a story about them, about how they helped save the children of Echoes. In truth, I did have a flash of revelation as to what their thoughts must have been. The abyss represents such terrible peril that, were it up to me, I too might have made up some horror story to keep others from the tribe clear of this place. It seems almost funny how I previously worried about having nothing to write, now there is almost too much here. In our tale about a golden-haired outlander, a flying white fairy, a little tepathless horse, and how they saved our tribe. And that sounds like a pretty awesome synopsis already. Indeed, stories pass on in story. Man, this is the connection is horrible today. Look at it, how she swallows a swim at them the size of a sumter piece in a single bite. Uh -huh. uh, I doubt there'd be too many of those, Paimon. And as those stories pass down, I imagine that those two soldiers too will eventually become heroes. They might not have cared themselves, but I know that this is what I must do. Once again, Ignus Paimon, you have my utmost thanks. You too, of course, sharp little turtle dial. As Star Teller, I swear to write for you the most exciting tale of adventure. Speaking of that, uh, I should probably head back to the sentry post to take up my shift. Uh, I almost forgot about that I missed out the excitement. Uh, I sure hope Yukon doesn't tear me a new one. For being gone so long. Uh, you should totally get back there pronto. That was our goodbye. That was weird. Oh, something with which to commemorate All this right. occasion. Just huh? uh, ah, okay, there's an invisible wall. I was wondering how far does it actually go. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I feel like they could just make a longer wall. Taller wall around. But I suppose that works too. Let's try to get one more money. Alright. Uh, I think I won't be able to fully upgrade the weapon before the event ends. Oh no, yeah, okay. I will. Uh, I was thinking. That will be another thing. No, yeah, that it always ended at 90. Alright. So that is good. Let's keep saving it if I get more money, but she won't uh, be around much longer. And I don't think I will spend too much. I'd rather save for Kimichi. Alright, that was plenty. Cool map. Alright, those two are done, and now next time I'll probably do that event. Alright, so now I'm off.